Hey guys, Seth the Shrinking Pastor here with my Day 30 update redo. Uh, those of you who have been keeping more diligent count would know that I should be in like day 50 something, 40 something, uh, 44, but I have fallen pretty far behind. Um, the last two weeks have been busy. My wife ended up in the hospital with some bleeding complications uh, for the pregnancy. That was scary. Um, everything's fine though. Baby's still not here. Um, uh, a couple of days I woke up to do my workouts. I had just really, really bad migraines and they lasted all day. Um, we've had company in town and so it's just been, I've had a hard time um, finding time to dedicate to the working out. And then after taking a couple of days off, um, the motivation to continue kind of waned a, a little bit. But uh, so I ended up doing a couple of days two weeks ago. I didn't fit any days in last week. And so this week I decided I was going to start again and have decided to go ahead and start over for my week five. Um, so yesterday I did, uh, yesterday and today I've, I've redone days 29 and days 30. So uh, I'm back, back on track. Um, and it's, it's good. I, I was worried going in yesterday that I would be uh, really in really bad shape. My muscles would have atrophied and, and everything, but um, everything's okay. So I uh, was able to pick right right up where I left off and, in fact, um, still had my workout sheet from the last time I worked out and pushed myself further yesterday than I did when I did the same workout two weeks ago. So uh, really, really pleased there. Um, plyo still sucks. did that today. Still not good. Um, but uh, I, it, you know, all of all of it has um, brought to mind something that I would like to to motivate you with, or or maybe just the simple fact that uh, that just because um, I was done, I missed days and, and had you know kind of quit for a couple of uh, two weeks. Um, that doesn't mean that that it's over. And I know in the past, I've certainly been guilty of you know, falling out of a diet for a day or a weekend, you know, having company over, it makes it hard. And then just kind of giving up because it feels like it's done. Um, it feels like there's no way to recover and you just lose all of your motivation. And so I want you to be encouraged today to uh, to pick up the thing that you've given up on. Um, go back to it. Um, you might find that just like with P90X, uh, it's not any harder to pick it up again today than it was the day that you left it. Um, and you're never going to see the results that you wanted if you don't go back to it. Um, I know that we have all heard of uh, Edison's many, many failures and and how many times um, you, you sometimes have to fail before you're able to successfully um, complete the, the task set before you, but you won't ever won't ever succeed if you give up, and um, and so whatever it is in your life, whether it's a job opportunity or exercise program or um, you know the, the countless other other struggles and and goals that we have, um, you know, for me planting a church. Um, Whatever it, it is, if you've uh, kind of let it fall by the wayside, if you set it down for a while, go pick it back up. Um, because I believe that that if it's something that you, if it's a desire that you have in your heart, um, that it's probably something that's worth doing to completion. Um, and I believe that uh, that you have what it takes to get it done. Um, expect to fail. Expect to fail a lot. Um, but don't let your fear of failure stop you from trying because you will never, ever succeed that way. Anyway, um, I'm excited to be back with you. I've, I've missed these times that we share. Uh, and uh, I hope that you guys are having a, an incredible week. And I will give you um, some P90X Day 32, 35, 40 updates real soon. All right, talk to you later.